changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome in to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel and kind of a serious matter I wanna to talk to you guys about. And this is as of August 27th, 2020 going forward. And it's about product and sales liability on online marketplaces like eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Posh, and other platforms. So if you missed my other video about it, I'll find it and I'll put it down below that you can check it out. But basically what is happening is legislation in California and in other states is starting to come out that wants to hold online platforms like eBay, Etsy, Amazon, etc. liable if you, a third-party seller, sells a product that results in injury or damage or other liabilities once the purchase is made. So for example, there were two very high-profile multi-million dollar lawsuits filed against Etsy and Amazon. One, we talked about it before, lady bought one of those retractable um, dog leashes, it snapped, it flung back, it whacked her in the eye, she actually lost her eye. Um, that was purchased through a third party seller on Amazon, this was probably two or three years ago. Um, it's still in the court systems, I think it's in PA, uh, up north maybe, and that third party seller was out of China, they closed up shop, they were untraceable, and she really had nowhere to go in a lawsuit, which was uh, obviously very uh, viable. It flew back and took her eye out. She had hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars in medical and treatment and loss of life and all of that stuff that comes along with it. So she sued Amazon, rightfully so. She bought it off Amazon. It was a third party seller, but the third party sellers in China somewhere, they closed up, they're gone. What is she gonna do, right? So she went after Amazon. Amazon said, we're not responsible. You need to go after that guy. And if you can't find him, tough luck. Um, and so the courts actually ruled, initially ruled that she could go after Amazon. They appealed it and the appeal said, no, you can't go after Amazon. It then moved its way to the Supreme Court of her state and then up to the Supreme Court of the United States, which I think it's still pending and hasn't been heard. Uh, I don't know the update on that. I'll try to find out. But it's basically trying to get to the point where if a third party seller sells a bad product, the platform is liable right along with a third party seller. Of course, if they can get a hold of you as the third party seller, which is easier here in the US than those overseas sellers, then that is something that they would want to pursue. They'd pursue you as a seller and Amazon but they gotta have a recourse in the event that there's no one left to sue. Um, Etsy had one where the baby, the child, again, I'll try to always put screenshots or pictures up here. The child was um, wearing one of those teething necklaces with the beads around it, which to me seems like a really stupid product. I, I looked at it, it looks really dumb and unsafe and something I would never give a child. Uh, what do I know? Um, but the child was you know, teething on this thing and it became twisted and obviously, you know what happened next, you can probably guess, it cut off the airflow, the child suffocated and died. And so the mother, uh, of course, suing 50 some million dollars, I don't know, some uh, big number, but with a child's life, there's, how do you put a number on that, right? Um, anyways, Etsy tried the same thing, it's not our problem, third party seller, blah, 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 up the court system, and they're trying to put the liability on Etsy. Uh, and so there's a law in California that's going to make this uh, statewide, and then of course it would filter over into other states eventually uh, until it hits the Supreme Court and becomes a federal law. And it's basically saying that in California, third-party platforms with transactions originating from sellers out of California would be responsible if that seller sells a bad item. So if you sell makeup and it ends up burning somebody's skin on eBay, eBay would have to brunt the liability in the lawsuit. You as a seller would still take some, but eBay also. So what does that mean for you guys as sellers? Well, first we'll wait and see if the law passes. Amazon has actually now reversed course and said they support that law because they don't want to be against a law that ends up passing. They want to work with the law and make it as uh, helpful to them as possible. Also, eBay, Etsy, Posh, the smaller platforms are saying Amazon is doing that because if the law passes, it's going to make it harder for small sellers like us to sell on the platform. It's going to cost us more money, and you know, obviously I'll explain why in a minute, but it's going to make the barrier of entry harder 
and that gives Amazon an advantage, which is true. So what does that mean for us and why is it going to become harder and more expensive? Well, if platforms are being held responsible for what you do on a platform, I'll give you an example. Uh, my fiance, Caitlin, is a wedding photographer. When she goes to a location, one of these rental places, and takes photos, she has to have liability insurance, a million dollars, because if somebody she brings her product to this location and they knock over a fancy vase and it's a thousand dollar vase, she has to pay for that. The um, the wedding venue is going to have to replace that. They're going to be liable, uh, you know, if the bride slips and breaks her leg, it could potentially be a lawsuit, you know, if it's during the f a photography session or, or what have you. So they require liability insurance. And so that is going to be something in the coming weeks, months, and beginning of 2021. Um, it's not set yet, but it could happen and it probably will in the next few months that you are going to be required to carry liability insurance um, state by state and possibly across the country. Now, Amazon as a seller already requires you to carry liability insurance if you do more than $10,000 a month in three consecutive months. They are changing that to where it could be all sellers. If that happens, it will follow suit through eBay, Etsy, Posh. Everybody is going to require you to have insurance. And I really believe that that's going to happen. Please don't go out on the internet. Please don't tell everyone that Casey says you got to run out and get insurance. It's not necessary yet. In fact, I don't carry insurance on my business because I work at home and I don't do anything. Products I sell are all safe. They're all used. Um, and so I've never really thought the risk was versus the reward. Um, but if it happens, you will have to. So just keep that in the back of your mind that you may have to get insurance in 2021. We'll have to wait and see. And of course, I will update you. I will link the story in my videos below as always. What is the cost of insurance? Well, let me give you an idea. Again, uh, I'll use Kate as an example. Uh, photography business with a million dollars general liability. She can go to any location, any address. Uh, she can do shoots out of our home. She can do shoots in the garage. She can do shoots at a chapel, at a church, at a wedding venue, at a hall. Um, it's a million dollar general liability. Obviously, that's going to cover slip and falls and injuries. Um, it's also $50,000 to protect all of her equipment. So if she drops her camera during a shoot and it's $5,000 to replace, they'll replace that. Uh, if a child knocks over her light kit and it's $1,000, they can fix that. Um, that is $44 a month. So that gives you an idea. And that's probably all you'll need to cover. If you don't have a brick and mortar where people walk in and out, if you have a store or a consignment shop, it may be more because you have people coming in and you're liable. Kate has to go deal with people. But if you're just sitting at your house selling product, you can expect probably $30 to $50 a month, $60 a month. It's all dependent on your state, your situation, um, your type of business, the products that you sell, obviously electronics more dangerous than just selling clothing. So all those things come into play, but really it shouldn't be more than a couple hundred dollars a year, 30, 40 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month max. So don't get too crazy about it. That's really all you'll probably need to be on these platforms if and when they ever require it out of us. So just a heads up, that law, um, California law, looks like it'll be first. It's called uh, AB3262. If you want to Google it, I'll also again link it below. So thank you for watching. Um, this one came out of Reuters from Allison Frankel. So thank you for the story, Allison, out of Reuters. Uh, there it is. That's Amazon backing the law. And uh, as always, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if it helps you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these updates and these news stories and you know everything you need to know. Also, please, the single greatest thing you can do for me, if you're in a reseller community, you have an Instagram, you have a Facebook page, a Facebook group that you're allowed to post in or that you own, please link this video so everyone knows what's going on and they can stay up to date. I also have an awesome insurance lady, Allison Haddon. I'll link her below as well. If you're interested in getting insurance at any point now or later, um, she can help hook you up. Make sure you tell her Rockstar sent you. She'll give you a discount code for Rockstar Flipper and show me some love and she will hook me up as well. So thank you guys a million. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and next week if I don't talk to you. Thank you as always. Good night.